good morning from downtown Reykjavik. One of the best ways that we like to learn about a new city is through organized tours. And today we're very fortunate. We have been able to connect with the Reykjavik Food Walk and we are going to join them on a food tour all throughout the downtown Reykjavik area. We're very excited to learn about the cuisine of Iceland, hear some stories, learn about the town as we eat delicious food. And we're excited to take you along with us as we learn about uh, the history of Reykjavik through food. All right, let's get started. So the tour begins. We have connected with Minty, and he is just like an enthusiastic local Iceland guy. He lives uh, right here in the neighborhood. Yeah, he's like, just my house is five minutes away, so just cool. I think he'll definitely uh, take us to all the good spots. He said we're going to travel to four, four different, different restaurants, restaurants. Yep. Uh, and experience the cuisine. So again, we got a nice sized group, about five people plus our group, so a total of 10. Uh, maybe like nine and a half if you count for us. But either way, we're off to the first place, right? Off to the first place, and he said he can accommodate vegetarians and gluten-free, or anyone with gluten allergy. So right, so that was accommodating, yeah. And that was a big point on the website too. So as Kelly is vegetarian, uh, the website definitely promotes that they are vegetarian friendly. They can make all the accommodations based on your food preferences or needs. So, all right, on to the first, on to the first restaurant. So our tour begins in Old Reykjavik. We got a nice walking tour of the old city, learned some history, saw the parliament building, just a cool uh, experience, learning some of the funny, unique laws Iceland has regarding uh, American soldiers, Icelandic women, and 10 p.m. curfews. You'll have to join the tour to get the full story, but it was quite hilarious. So our first stop, though, he is here at the Messen restaurant. This is a seafood restaurant, and inside we are going to try two seafood dishes. I'm pretty excited. I love that it's so warm in here. It's very pretty. All right, we got the whole simple area here. Hello, hello. Cedar granite forest. Yeah. Okay, so they just brought out the first dishes and they look amazing. We have got the Arctic char and the fish mash. Again, a very, the fish mash, a very traditional Icelandic food, as Minty was explaining, uh, mixed in with potatoes and all types of herbs and it smells delicious. So we'll give the, uh, Fish mash, a good try here. Mm. Man, that's outstanding. Very, um, like a potatoey, starchy, just nicely spiced fish. And uh, the one I'm most looking forward to, of course, is the Arctic char, which is in the same family as uh, salmon. So we'll see if there's a salmony flavor to this fish. So we got the Viking? Yes, The Viking Man, there's like a nice almond um, flavor, nice almond uh, that's sliced on top. It's got a um, kind of a salty, uh, tangy flavor. It's very, very good. So as we're working our way through our first dish, Minty gave a recommendation. He said uh, to try the fish mash on top of this rye bread. So we'll give that a try. Oh. Man, the way the rye contrasts that fish mash is oh, outstanding. That's definitely a way to go. Good. Good recommendation is uh, the rye bread with the fish mash. Absolutely delicious. Well, that first stop was amazing. The Messen restaurant, seafood, two seafood dishes in there, and they tasted great. And I had the vegetarian um, dish, which was a lot of vegetables and like a little vegetable patty with a little bit of hummus, spicy hummus on it. It was delicious with the rocket and the baby um, spinach and the potatoes. It was perfect. Yeah, a really, really good meal again. And it was huge. It was a really big <laughs> serving. And we have four, three, three more, more restaurants to go to. So we also got a little history. There's the uh, Iceland High School right there. So the Reykjavik High School, I believe is the name of it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's just a great little tour. So onward to the next stop. So one of the coolest parts about these kind of walking tours is you get the history of the town. So Minty was just explaining that the prime minister's office is right here. And he went on to say, I don't know if he was joking, but he's like, yeah, go knock on the door during the work week. And uh, again, everyone's super friendly. But again, being with Minty, He's really just doing a great job giving us sort of the history of the town, the buildings, and those are the kind of things that if we had not been on this tour, we would not have really picked up on the local details. So again, we're thankful for the opportunity to really learn and connect with the local town here. All right, so the next stop on our food tour is actually quite a famous hot dog stand. So we heard the story about hot dogs were introduced into Iceland during the World War when Americans came over with hot dogs and Coca-Cola. So there you go. Also, uh, this skater is quite famous from Bill Clinton's uh, visit to the hot dog stand where he famously ordered a hot dog 
just with mustard. And the Icelanders thought that was the weirdest thing ever versus the what we ordered is fully loaded. Yes? All right, fully loaded hot dogs. Here we come. Oh, hey. We are about to bite into these uh, world famous hot dogs. How's your hot dog, Forrest? Yummy? Oh yeah, I got a thumbs up right there. So this one is fully loaded. This is with the remoulade, the mustard, the onions, the ketchup, and uh, it looks really tasty. Mm. 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 And that is how you make a world famous hot dog, quite delicious. All right, as we move on to our next stop, uh, fun fact about this hot dog stand is they sell something like between one and 2,000 hot dogs every week. That, my friends, is a lot of hot dogs. Hey, how are the hot dogs? They're delicious. Yeah, really nice? Yeah. Yeah, um, you like them fully loaded? Yep. Yeah. All right. Famous by far. Famous by far. Ooh, what do you think, Kelly? How's the veg dog? Oh, well, I got a bun with all the toppings and it, it's, delicious. it's delicious. The mustard, the onions, and the crunch, there's some kind of crunchies in there. So maybe fried onions or something, but it's delicious. It's good. Awesome. So uh, stop number two, hot dogs doesn't disappoint. And stop number three is, of course, the Icelandic bar. In here, we're going to sample some Icelandic beer. I believe the lamb is on the menu, so uh, I'm pretty excited to see what this dish is all about. Okay, so stop number three at the Icelandic bar is, in fact, all about the lamb. We've got a smoked lamb flatbread here. We've got the lamb soup and a tangerine beer. Oh. Wow, you can definitely, that smoke, uh, that smoky flavor really shines here. It is delicious on that sandwich. And now we'll hit that soup. I really, I really wish you to see it. I wasn't sure I was because it's not, um, it doesn't have it on both Again, yeah, the lamb is the star component here on both of these dishes. The lamb broth is so flavorful, it really shines out. And again, that smoked lamb on the flatbread, absolutely outstanding. To wash it all down, that Icelandic tangerine beer. Man, yeah, that citrus is uh, the star on this one. Very, very good. Well, stop three at the Icelandic bar did not disappoint. Here, it was all about those lamb dishes. So we had that lamb, smoked lamb sandwich. We had the lamb stew. Outstanding. And for me, they were able to make a vegan potato soup, which was amazing. And then um, they did the flatbread with butter and a little bit of cheese and dill on it. And it was fantastic. So, it, it was yeah. so good. And Minty was also giving us the kind of the history as we were here celebrating the lamb, uh, all about the Icelandic lamb roaming free since 874. And again, on tours like this, that's where you really learn about the history of the town. You get those cultural insights that if you know you weren't on a tour like this, you would just, you know, typically like people like us would have never kind of gleaned that information. So I just love the fact that this food tour is not just food but also a lot of the history, history traditions and um, fun facts about Reykjavik and Iceland absolutely okay on to stop four which I believe is sort of oriented around dessert so let's go check that out this is also one of the oldest uh, coffee places in Reykjavik all right, so on our way to our last stop, I wanted to point out, our, our guy pointed out this little toy right here, this little Prince Eric doll. And so all throughout Reykjavik, there's something like he said, 150 of these little teeny toys all scattered in these really strange places. Nobody really knows who put them up there, but it now has become sort of a scavenger hunt game. So if you see a little figurine or a toy in an odd place, it's probably there as part of the scavenger hunt. And there's a little, you know, you can't see how they go for it. There's a little figurine up there. So keep a sharp eye on those uh, for those little scavenger hunts. And our last stop is opposite, of course, the Lutheran church. We are heading into the neighborhood of the gods and having a dessert here at the Loki Cafe. So again, this walking tour has taken us into kind of the old Reykjavik, this new Reykjavik, into these different neighborhoods. It's really a, a thorough tour uh, of, of, of Reykjavik. And again, you learn a lot of the history. So here we are at the Loki Cafe. All right, and lastly, we have the rye bread ice cream made again from that delicious Icelandic rye bread with a rhubarb syrup on top. It looks delicious, along with our twisted donut. Mm. 
sweet, custardy, creamy, just all the right words to describe mm -hmm. a dairy dessert. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. And Minty was telling us that uh, Icelandic, Icelanders take pride in their dairy products, so it's not processed, overly sweetened with anything artificial. Very, very good. And of course, that mm -hmm. twisted donut also, you can't leave Reykjavik without having one of these. It's a donut. Oh, cardamom, delicious cinnamon. Very, very good. Well, you definitely gave us a lot of great information. Again, I very much appreciate your time and uh, thank you so much. Yes, my pleasure. You guys are great. Love All your right. energy. All right, well, with that, we hope you enjoyed this walk along with the uh, Reykjavik Food Walk and we will see you in the next episode.